Good morning students. In this video class, I am going to teach about an example. Greatest among three numbers. It's, this question was asked like this also. Greatest among three numbers, biggest among three numbers, then maximum among three numbers. It's worked on the basis of the previous video, uh, if conditional statements or conditional statements. Okay. So here also I am going to use the branching statements, conditional statements. Okay. The logic is you have to find the greatest among three numbers. So how many inputs required here? You are going to find the greatest among three numbers. So three inputs required. So three variables required and three inputs required. First get the three inputs. For example, A, B, C. Get three variables and three inputs 10, 20 and 30. Okay, then you have to find out which one is greater. Okay, in this three, you have to find which one is greater. As these are the simple numbers, you can easily say 30. How the computer, uh, how to make the computer to find? For that, we have to write the logic in Python program. Okay, so now you can see the code, then I will explain the, through that I will explain the logic. Okay, first. Enter the three numbers. Why? You are going to find the greatest among three numbers. So, I need three inputs. So, enter three numbers. First, A. Okay, input, input of is a function used to get the input from the user. Always it will get the input in string format. It should be, you want to convert it into integer. That's what, int input of. Okay, so you are getting the A value as 10, B value as 20, and C value as 30. These three lines are getting, these three values are getting inputs. Getting inputs, okay. Then here only I am going to check the if condition, okay. I am going to use the if condition. Why? What's the need of if condition? What's the use of conditional statement? Depend upon the condition, it will determine which statement want to be executed. So, here I am writing the condition, if A greater than B and A greater than C, okay. I am going to write the condition, A greater than B and A greater than C. See, what's the A value? 10. 10 greater than, what's the B value? 20 and 10 greater than 30. What is this and? And is the, which operator is this? It's a logical operator. What's the use of logical operator and? It will check both the condition is true or false. And is a logical operator. It will check both the condition is true or false. So 10 greater than 20. Condition is false or true? It is false. And here 10 greater than 20. Condition is true or false? False. So, as per your AND true table, false, false means this condition is false. So, as per this input, this is false. A greater than B and A greater than C is false. So, if it is false means it will come to the else if. That's what we studied else if later, right? Multi-way if. If the first condition is false means it will check the second condition. So, here I am going to check the second condition, else if. I am going to check the second condition, else if b greater than c, why I am not using a, already in the previous condition I checked a with b and c, so a is not greater than b as well as not greater than c, already I find out it, so I am checking only b greater than c, so what is the, what's the condition here? 20 greater than 30. Again, this condition also false, right? 20 is not greater than 30. So, again, else if b greater than c, this condition also false. So, if this condition is false means it will come to the else part. Else, c is big. Suppose, your input is 30, 20, 10. Okay, 30, 20, 10. So, here, A greater than B, 
what is A? A is 30. 30 greater than 20 and 30 greater than 10. Now what will happen? 30 is greater than 20 as well as 30 is greater than 10. Now this condition is true. If this condition is true means it will print A is big. Here you are printing the variable. The particular value 30 is big. You will get the output as 30 is big. 30 is big. Suppose here 50. Okay. Now as per this input 30 greater than 50 condition false. This condition is false. 30 greater than 10 condition is true. Here and is there. False true. What will happen? It is false. For the and operator both the condition want to be true. So it will check this condition. What is B? B means 50. 50 greater than C. Condition is true. So it will print B is big as per this input. All of you understood? So once again I will explain the logic. First you are getting the three inputs. Then I want to compare the three numbers. First I want to compare A with B. Then I want to compare A with C. First I want to compare the A with B. Then I want to compare the a with C. Then I want to compare B, B with C. This is the logic. So I am comparing here. A greater than B and logical operator A greater than C. If A is greater than B as well as A is greater than C means A is big. Suppose this condition is false means A is smaller than B and smaller than C. So I can only check B greater than C. So I can print B is big. Else if both A and B is less, then we can say C is big. All of you understood? So, uh, the same question is asked for smallest or minimum among three numbers. If they ask for smallest among three numbers or minimum among three numbers means what modification you have to do? Instead of this greater than symbol, you have to put less than symbol. Then instead of big, we have to write small. Small. Okay. Only this modification we have to do. Once again, we will check with this example. First, what's the A value? 30. 30 less than 50. Condition is true. 30 less than 10. Condition false. So, it will come to the elif. If the if condition is false, it will come to the elif. The elif is false, it will come to the else. Then elif condition. B, 50 less than 10. Condition is false. So, automatically it will come to the else part and it will print C is, C is small. So, this question is asked for on university uh, questions. So, all of you understood? I hope you understand this thing. Thank you students.